Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to some more Honest J. Nowak. Oh yeah, yeah that's right, I'm still going on with that part. <laughs> I tell you, season one was quite a huge boatload, but man, was it a breeze to work with. Here in season two though, let's get a little more in-depth, a little more challenged, and a bit more intact. Because there are, in fact, lots of other possibilities that you could potentially find out here on this series alone. Now it's time to basically go on to number 770, which, of course, relates to sterilizers. Now, let's define sterilizers real quickly. Sterilizers are substances that are known to cauterize and allow wounds to be disinfected and therefore healed. As simple as that sounds, well, that's only because it's true. Sterilizers do, in fact, feel like they burn right through in certain sites of the wound. But that's only because they are usually a mixture of different substances, like water, acids, and various other chemicals that are typically used in making soaps, or sometimes other things out there relating to hygiene. But these same kinds of chemicals out there are known to primarily allow for disinfection and allow for any sorts of prevention of certain BO from taking place. But let's not forget that the primary component of all things out there is alcohol. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but this same substance that has been known for killing millions of lives every single year, causing so many traffic accidents and causing so much uncontrollable behavior and otherwise, has also been used a lot for medicinal studies and medical usage. Alcohol somehow has a way of redeeming itself from becoming a substance that makes a complete and total uncontrollable well, anything at all, to something that can actually save lives. I mean, don't you think that's ironic? Like, yeah, it had to be said right there, but anyways. <laughs> sterilizers of any sorts, alcoholic or not, they are, in fact, capable of healing most lives, by any means. Depending on the kind of wound that's taken place, from a scratch, scrape, or perforation, of any sorts, well, you can expect sterilizers to be there all the way for you, of any sorts of things that might actually be pretty harmful depending on how you might actually perceive these things, but for the most part, when it comes to the safety of your health and the safety of most wounds, especially ones that are bleeding, which of course they could be wide open and allow for certain viruses, bacteria, and other things to enter, which could in fact be responsible for causing certain diseases like the common cold, influenza, sepsis, and whatnot. You can also expect sterilizers to be there to help prevent these things, especially if you are very quick at treating these certain wounds. Well, I can say for sure that I've certainly done my part on that but the whole thing about it is that sterilizers somehow make a use of this same exact substance that's killed millions of lives. They somehow turn it into something that can save lives. I mean, that is in fact quite an unbelievably convincing, coherent, compelling argument. As amazing as it is, like, I feel both impressed and frustrated at the same time because of this and well I guess there's many other ways I could go around with it but I guess there's not a whole lot so I guess I'm just gonna end it here sterilizers they do whatever they can to save you I guess that's just the end of the story right there but at least I can move on to some other things here 
Starting with tomorrow, I will be sure to have some other subjects in line. Ooh, almost dropped it. But if you want to see more go down to my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.